conversations with our queens from across the world. They are entertaining, educating, with tons of passion. Welcome to the show, Queens Forever. Greetings to one and all. To all those who are extremely fortunate to excel in their endeavors that they've been passionate about since their childhood. One such passion comes out to be true. The girl who dreamt to make it big. The girl who dared to dream more than she could ever think of. And when we have all the young faces and the teens who excel and create a mark for themselves, it becomes extremely special. Dear friends, today here on Indus TV Global, we have with us our beautiful queen, who of course created a mark for herself, but also won laurels for her country, representing her state. And at the same time, she has a long way ahead. Truly a gifted student right from her schooling to excelling in her studies as well as maths. Well, she represented California at Miss India USA 2022, which was in New York. Of course, won the brilliant subtitle of Miss Talented India USA 2022 and the fresh face. My dear friends, please join me in welcoming on behalf of River Comics and V International, the very vivacious, versatile, and the natural beauty. Let's give it up from Miss TNRI Global 2022, Rihanna Malotra. A beautiful namaste to you, Rihanna. How are you doing today? Namaste, Simran. Thank you so much. I'm doing wonderful. And you? I'm doing good, dear. Thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure till date to just hear about you. And now, of course, to have you here with us in the show, Queens Forever. So let's get started with your childhood, Rihanna. When was the first time you ever dreamt of getting into a beauty pageant? Well, when I was younger, due to my height, everyone would always tell me, oh, you should try modeling. But I never truly loved it until I got my very first taste when I was maybe 10 years old or so. And ever since then, I've just fell in love with it, all aspects, and it's become such a huge part of my life. Wow. And how did you start working on this? I mean, that was at the age of 10 when you probably least expected and then you fell in love. So which was that aspect of a beauty pageant that made you fall in love with it? For me, definitely, it would have to be the clothes and the confidence I get from looking nice and presentable and just feeling my best on that stage really made me love modeling. Wow. And how tall are you? I'm six foot exactly. And I've been tall since I could imagine. (laughs) Oh, beautiful. That's phenomenal. And it's incredible. Right to be a supermodel. That's truly amazing. (laughs) So tell us, Rihanna, which was that question which won you the crown of Miss Teen NRI Global? So the question that won me the crown was actually, what could I not imagine my life without? And I, from my heart, completely said that I cannot imagine my life without my sister, who was actually there on the stage with me. And just sharing that moment with her and all of my memories with her was so meaningful to me. So that was my answer for that question. So was your sister also part of a, of the beauty pageant as a contestant? Yes, she was actually. And she also won the title for Miss NRI Global. So that was wonderful to share that stage and crowning moment with her. So are you all twins or uh, she is younger or elder to you? She's four years elder to me, actually. So, yeah. Oh, and both of you won the best. That is unbelievable. Wow, that's a double whammy for you. How supportive (laughs) were your parents when you, of course, discussed with them about your interest in this field? My parents have been my biggest supporters, my mom especially. She sparked my passion for all of this. And by working so hard for me and and my sister, we've just been like in love with this whole thing. Oh, brilliant. Uh, So, Rihanna, let's get started with how do you prepare yourself for a pageant? Now, you've been a part of several pageants, you know, starting right from where you represented California. Please tell us how did you prepare yourself and how much time prior 
Do you really plan out that, yeah, this is my pageant and this is how I'm going to go my way? Or is it that you're quite a natural? Well, I started preparing a couple of months prior and I really had to build up a lot of self-confidence, learning how to walk and how to carry myself. Honestly, that was the biggest part of preparation for me, learning how to feel confident in my own skin. And that is something that I carry during the pageant and afterwards, too. Oh, that's beautiful. So uh, let's let's just discuss with you about the challenges that you faced at the time of the pageant. Well, it was obviously a very hectic environment and a lot of times it could feel like everything was being overwhelming and comparing yourself with the other girls. But at the end of the day, you have to realize that you're there for the experience and to truly be yourself and have fun. So that was what helped me overcome these obstacles as well. You know what? You already have one heart all over USA and of course the world now. And we look forward to taking a look at you in the Indian film industry as well. So do you know of someone who's going to really help you and show you and guide you on the path, how to get into the Indian film industry? Yes, definitely. The first person that comes to mind is Mr. Bharat Garadia, also known as Mr. India. I cannot think of anyone better to help me get into the Indian film industry. So he's here to meet you and to welcome you on behalf of all of us. Let's welcome the very dashing and the handsome Mr. India, Mr. Bharat Garadia ji. Hi, uh, Rihanna. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Mr. Bharat? I am very, very fine. After seeing two beauties on the and sharing the same screen, it's always a dream of every male. And today <laughs> it's fulfilling now. <laughs> two beautiful, brainy, multi-talented title holders to share the a screen with them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on first of all, to industry ke saare darsako ko Bharat Gurdia ka saadar pranam, Sibran ko namaste. And uh, Rihanna, now you are a global personality. So, I have global namaste. Uh, on behalf of our sponsor, River Comics and We International, it is indeed my great pleasure and privilege to welcome you in one of the most outstanding talks of all time, Queens Forever. A very, very hearty welcome to you, Rihanna. And yes, of course, it is my pleasure and privilege to introduce to Bollywood. Bollywood, since last so many years, uh, uh, really invited and welcome all the international stars like Katrina Kaif, Nargis Fakhri, Nora Fateh, Eli Abraham, Evelyn Sarma. So why not you? You are very young, dashing, dynamic, beautiful, brainy, multi-talented star. And it is always a pleasure for Bollywood to invite and uh, welcome you in their kitty because it is their luck that they are getting such a wonderful star in Rihanna Malhotra. So... It would be my pleasure, dear, and we are waiting for the days, the moment to complete your study. I hope and I'm sure that even Mr. Dino Maria, who crowned you, has already told me that here is a, a girl who can really next to Madhuri. She can take and replace Madhuri after three, four years. <laughs> when Madhuri retires, she is the one who can take her place. And we all are very, very keen to see that day. Once again, a very, very hearty welcome to you, Rian. Thank you very much. I could not be more excited for the new opportunities. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brian, for being here with us. And we we'll look forward to meeting all of you with a beauteous journey of the very young and the beautiful Rayana Malhotra, but right after this super short commercial break.
oh la la, she's so poised. Even at this age, she's been a super achiever. So Rihanna, tell us, you are also, uh, you know, fabulous with your studies and your extracurricular activities. So let us know a little bit about your mathematics skills, where you, of course, ace the cards. Yes, I've been pursuing math. That's my passion ever since I was in elementary school. And it's always come so natural to me. And it's genuinely something I enjoy. For my extracurriculars, I've also taken a recent interest in robotics going towards the STEM field. And being one of the only girls in robotics is truly such an empowering feeling for me. So that's definitely one of my passions. You mean to say you're the only girl who's a part of this curriculum? And uh... You're already feeling empowered. Wow. And and how passionate are you about, uh, you know, having a career in the field of math or biotics? Along with obviously the field of Bollywood, I would love to pursue the career of STEM alongside it and also educate other young girls to feel confident to try out new things in this field. Wow. So that that's that's really, uh, you know, long time preparation. So where do you see yourself if I might ask you five years from now? Five years from now, I see myself fresh out of college, hopefully with some new opportunities in the Bollywood industry, maybe a few opportunities in the STEM field, wherever my college career takes me. Interesting. Uh, Tell us, Rihanna, the first time when you participated and represented California State, you know, share with us a little experience you had, the fun part, the crazy part, and of course, something new that you learned from the passion. The whole experience was honestly so much learning for me, and this being my first time representing my state, I felt so empowered and confident, and it felt so good to walk on that stage. It was honestly so much fun after all my preparation and hard work. The best, most fun part was just walking on that stage and giving it my all. Interesting. And uh, you want to tell us a little bit about your sister queens, about the other contestants, about your relation with them? And uh, how interesting was the conversation with them? Or was it a little, you know, related to, of course, competition? Or was it like being a sister queen with them? I definitely felt like I made some really good relationships with some of the other queens over there. We were all on the same wavelength. And just meeting all these new girls felt so good to meet some new groups of people and learn a lot from them because we all come from very different backgrounds and have different knowledge. So I definitely made some really good bonds with my experience. My dear lovely people, you're watching us on Indus TV Global, brought to us by River Comics and We International. And you're watching us in this show, Queens Forever. As they always say, that after winning the title of queen, of course, you do feel very unique about yourself. So what was that first thing you did after winning the crown? And how did you actually go to bed with the crown, without the crown, or you didn't sleep at all? From the minute that I got crowned, I just did not want to take it off. I felt so empowered and like a completely brand new person with this newfound sense of confidence. And it was just the best moment ever. And I've carried that feeling with me throughout ever since. And I hope to carry that with me for the rest of my life. You know, you've spoken and, you know, actually touched upon confidence a couple of times. What is it that you like to explain to everyone? How do you really get that self-confidence? Where does it come from after all? Personally, I believe that self-confidence will never come at a certain age, just simply when you are ready to feel confident and happy with yourself. The moment that you feel happy with who you are as an individual is the moment that your self-confidence truly comes out. So whenever that may be for someone, you will truly know. Oh, that's interesting. And I think and that's the right way to go. When it has to come, it will come when you are honest with yourself and you know who you are. That's, that's wonderful. I think uh, there's so much of learning from you, Rihanna. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to please ask you about your favorite round at the pageant and your experience about the same. My favorite round of the pageant would have to be the talent round because that was my favorite round because I got to express myself fully and I felt like the judges could really see who I am. And while I was performing my dance, I really felt like I was having a lot of fun and the audience could see who I was as an individual rather than just me walking on the stage. 
Interesting. And of course, for all those who really want to know more about her journey, well, hold on a bit. We'll see you right after this super short commercial break and know about how is it that she won laurels and she will continue to do so right from starting as the fresh face and Miss Talented to reaching as the winner for our Miss T NRI Global 2022. Our queen has arrived. See you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for V International Founder, President, Chairman, Mr. Bharat Goradia, Bollywood star. Guradia with legendary singers from Indian music industry. He believes in spreading smiles over everyone's faces. Sports champion. The Dada Sahib Falki Award and Bharat Gaurav Pride of India Award winner Mr. Bharat Goradia has been innumerably awarded across the globe for his outstanding work in the field of promoting Indian arts and culture all over the world. Welcome back. Something, Rihanna, that you and your sister really have in common, and you all planned it out to do it a certain way at the beauty pageant. Well, me and my sister both put in the same hard work and dedication. So it really just comes down to how similar we are, that when we're walking on the stage, we behave with the same mannerisms, and it just makes us feel really connected, even through the whole pageant experience. Was there any competition spirit with your other sister queens or any such feeling where you think that you have to outrun someone or you were just very comfortable with what you are? I felt really comfortable with these new girls, although there were feelings of sometimes of comparisons and this, but overall, I felt like I made really good relationships with my other sister queens. How confident are you just because you stand as tall as six feet? Is there an extra confidence that comes your way? It definitely started off as something I used to be insecure about. But as I've gone through the whole pageant experience, I've learned to love my height. And it's definitely an extra confidence boost now that I think about it. Yay. (laughs) Wow. And you, uh, you know, are, it's not just about confidence, but you are. So flowing with everything that you've gone through seems like you've really experienced the world at this beauty pageant. And that is what pageants do to you. They give you the overall experience about your personality and that's how you stand out. So what is it in the future that you're looking forward to beside getting into films? I definitely look forward to empowering other young girls to take a similar journey as I did, because I really think that it's the best chance for you to discover who you are as an individual. And I think that any girl given the opportunity should really go through this whole experience. Okay, again, coming back to uh, the preparation, you said it takes you months of preparation. So how do you start your day and what is it that you look forward to? Um, What is it that you really have to give up on? during the pageant. So how do you plan when you are getting ready for a beauty pageant? While getting ready for the pageant, I definitely learned how to carry myself more confidently just throughout everyday small errands. And one thing I had to hold myself back on was like eating sweets after a meal, because that is something I've always had a tendency to do. And trying to go against that was definitely a challenge, but it's for the best. And it helped me prepare for the pageant. And then after the pattern, you start having your desserts again? Yes, but not as much as before. So it's definitely a good habit I've created. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Um, a little bit about, uh, of course, you did mention about the walking skills. But what about the talking skills? Do you really work on them as well, especially the way you'll answer the questions by the jury? 
Speaking has always come a little bit natural to me, but I definitely did practice my question and answer. I practiced my introduction because speaking confidently is definitely the first impression that the judges get of you. So that is also a really important aspect of pageantry. What according to you is that one thing which makes you, you know, win the heart of our jury? One thing according to you. The one thing, according to me, that could win the heart of anybody is showcasing your true personality, because I believe when an audience can see someone's personality through a screen or from a stage, then they can truly identify with who you are, and that just makes them love you even more. Oh, that's so special. It's that true personality, besides the confidence, just being you, you know, yourself. Wonderful. Really interesting. Uh, Rihanna, I know you're pretty young, but was there was any difference when you participated, you know, for and represented California at the pageant, you know, at New York, and now, of course, when you won the cycle, what was the difference between both the pageants besides your confidence level and your experience living going up? What is that one lesson you learned from your state level pageant till the time you reached your final pageant? From competing in California to going to New York, it was definitely a big shift in the crowd that was there and the girls I was competing with. But I realized that the most important thing is to be confident in yourself and that will make you the best that you can be. So that was definitely a big shift that I had to learn about when going from pageant to pageant. How do you balance your life, you know, considering that you do have examinations most of the time, at the same time, you're being a part of a beauty pageant? It can definitely get really difficult at times with time management from my school, extracurriculars, and pageantry on the side too, but I've learned to find proper breaks for me to take and time management throughout my day and my weeks has really helped me. Super. That's been really interesting. And now let's get back to, of course, something that we all love. That's the rapid fire round. So let's get started. Which is the first drink you have in the morning when you wake up? A cold glass of water. And the last drink you have before going to bed? Yeah, another cold glass of water. Oh, wonderful. So you are, uh, you know, in love with cold glass of water. Yes. So that's, that's beautiful. That's how you start and end your day. So uh, here are some beauty tips that we're getting from Rihanna. Rihanna, what is your beauty secret? You'd like to share that's with everyone. Beauty secret would definitely be that a little bit of blush can go a long way. Uh-huh. And that's more than enough because you're blessed with such a beautiful skin. Back to the goal uh, that uh, you intake. Uh, your health routine for the pageant that you really get into. My health routine is getting outside, going for walks, going for hikes, any physical activity you can fit in during your day. All right. Uh, just to keep your cardio in place and just get into the right metabolism just by having the cardio. Interesting. Something that you are really fond of, you know, the three important things you always carry in your bag with you. I always carry my phone. I always carry some lip gloss and I always carry a mirror. You already won the subtitle of Miss Talented and Fresh Face, but which is your favorite subtitle that you're very fond of that wish you could win that someday? Miss Photogenic would definitely be my dream. Okay, so you are all getting ready to give some great poses out there. So if yeah. you had to give a second pose, how would you give it? I would give it like so. Uh huh. So there we have Miss Photogenic as well. <laughs> they are about, uh, of course, you know, making all the lens happy. <laughs> and of course, the photographers extremely thrilled out there. Wonderful. And I think you are very natural and naturally beautiful and photogenic. So I look forward to that title very soon as well. Somewhere where you represent your country <laughs> on the international arena. Yay. So uh, let's let's truly continue with the rapid fire. Uh, something that you're really, very fond of and give up on. You said desserts. You want to elaborate on that? That your favorite food that you give up on? My favorite dessert would have to be cookies and ice cream. That's my favorite sweet treat after a meal. So giving up on that was a challenge. Do you intake any superfoods? I make sure to have a smoothie some days. So yes. 
what according to you is your best asset confidence yeah <laughs> i like the way you say confidence <laughs> wow who goes for that applause for that as well <laughs> if you had to give one message to all those beautiful girls who want to pursue a career as a teen would you advise them to take the step as a teen and what should they do Yes, don't be afraid to venture out and try those new things that you really want to because it will only lead you to the best and better opportunities in your life. The best part of grooming that has been during your sessions. Trying on new different outfits. Oh, all right, so you are a designer's delight too. Try on all the different outfits. Something you learned from the esteemed jury who were judging you. I learned that it's not all about looks and it's about how you carry yourself and your personality. Wow. I think this is where every girl gets stuck considering and thinking about their looks. But you said it's all about the personality, it's not just about the looks, it's how you carry yourself. I think kudos to this answer as well. Yes. The best compliment you ever received after winning the crown of Miss Teen and RI Global 2022. that i have a beautiful smile that's the best compliment how oh, lovely one advice your parents gave you while you were a part of the pageant my mom would always tell me to give it my all and always try my best so you have good luck to with your side that's <laughs> interesting do you like to accentuate your lips or eyes if given an option besides the blush i would use lip gloss and mascara interesting what's the best appearance you've had in your crown representing and representing your beautiful country my best appearance would have to be my crowning moment because that's where i truly felt the most happy <laughs> what a beautiful moment uh, do you still feel nostalgic thinking about this moment since it was quite recent Yes, I often look back on the experience and think about how different my life was back then and I will always cherish those memories. Oh, that's beautiful. It's been truly truly amazing and interesting having you here with us and uh, I'm going to ask you something very very important though it's very very early in your career. This is once a queen. Queen forever. Do you believe in this proverb? Yes, I 100% believe in this proverb because the experiences that you have throughout pageantry will live in your life forever and the self-development and discovering who you are as an individual will stay with you throughout the life. So, always a queen forever. Who's been your inspiration in the beauty world? Sushmita Sen has obviously been a big inspiration after winning Miss Universe and then going to the Indian acting industry. What has been your favorite place? Which place in the world is something very close to your heart? I love going to Italy. Uh huh. Interesting. I have a very interesting question for you. We're going to take you on a different level altogether. But for that question, I'm going to once again invite our Mister India to raise that question to you, and I'm truly really eagerly waiting to hear the reply from you as well. May we please welcome Mister Bharat Gora here? Hi, Riyana. Okay. What a wonderful interview you are giving at the age of fifteen. You are like a master. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Nair. I think more and more titles are waiting in your kitty. <laughs> anyway, I have a very interesting question to ask you. If given the opportunity to go on a date with any of the Bollywood, Hollywood, or any celebrity of the world, uh, where will you go, and whom will you take with? I would love to meet the famous designer Manish Malhotra and go to his studio to possibly design some amazing clothes that I can wear because I just love his outfits. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful answer. You never <laughs> heard any of the actress or any of the title holders over here who has said fashion designer. Everybody has said either Bollywood or Hollywood artist. You are the first one who has said a fashion designer. Yes, oh, I love God. that. That's so So. <laughs> <laughs> that you love fashion so much right yeah that is the field which you are in fashion yes. is your field <laughs> yeah <laughs> very nice very nice so anyway on behalf of our sponsor river comics we international and industry we global uh, thank you so so very much for sparing your valuable time sharing your experiences and giving the best of the tips to all the young girls 
were teen and likely to enter the uh, mist in a contest of any part of the world that how to win the crown uh, be self confident carry yourself well and never give up that is what you have said and i think that is the best key to win any crown in the world so thank you so very much once again and wishing you all the very best in all your forthcoming projects and see you very very soon in any of the bollywood uh, films and especially working with susmita sir that is what we will try to do because that is <laughs> so let susmita sir must also compliments you that here is another miss uh, world or miss universe Thank yes. you very much, dear. All right, thank you. I would like to say a very big thank you to Mr. Bharat Garadia, River Comics, Simran Ahuja, and Indus TV Global. Thank you very much. It's been such a pleasure, and uh, this is a special message which goes to Manish Malhotra sir. As you all know, that you have fans all around, but we have our lovely winner of Miss Teen NRI Global 2022. all set to walk the ramp for you and your collection and how exciting and thrilling is this a humble thanks to all of you for showering us with tons of love and isn't the world truly beautiful all of 15 and she has been a super achiever isn't she the right inspiration of course she has a long way to go but so much learning from the very young dynamic and the beautiful riana malhotra a humble thanks to industry global River Comics V International, and of course to all of you for watching the show, Queens Forever. See you guys with yet another beauty queen from yet another part of the world, encouraging you, empowering you, and winning your hearts. Thank you very much, and love you all.